Creativity is the single most important gift for drawing humanity out of its mass psychosis. Jinky 61 with the shadow of psychosis and the city of sanctity and it's the path of inspiration. My wisdom story. I was born asking why. Why were boys more valuable than girls? Why was there war? Was God a loving God? I pondered these questions during a time in my country where they were forbidden. Though I learned to keep quiet, my fascination with religion continued throughout my young adulthood. Against the will of my religiously disenchanted parents and the fanatically atheist party ruling the country, I collected every bit of information I could from my older relatives about Confucianism, Taoism and Buddhism. When the new constitution passed and normal religious activities were allowed, I immediately explored Islam and Christianity. When I moved to the West, finally free to explore anything I liked, I became consumed with the study of religions, especially those that had been forbidden to me. The more I learned, the more complex the picture became. I had to know where did these religions, myths and archetypes originated in the first place? Why were there so many unexplained parallels between the world religion going back thousands of years? Where and from whom did the impossible sacred monuments and temples truly come from? I turned to archaeology and was catapulted down a wormhole that challenged everything I knew about reality. My journey took me from the Bible to Egypt to Samaria to Lemuria to Atlantis and farther. I uncovered so many holes in scientific thoughts that I had to consider the strangest possibilities, from ancient astronauts to stargates, rainbow bodies, time travel, multidimensionality, orbs, giants and fairies. I became obsessed with supernovas, reincarnation, the paranormal, UFOs, crop circles and near-death experiences. Every new answer birthed a new question. People either thought I was crazy for believing certain things or for not embracing their beliefs. The pressure to understand the nature of reality became unbearable. When I finally stopped trying to get rid of the pressure and instead stepping right into it, my intellect shattered. Even I believed I was crazy. But soon I realized that most people on the planet were basically psychotic. None of us saw reality as it actually was. In that moment I stopped asking why and was graced with true inspiration. The most spectacular art began to flow through me. I no longer need to understand reality, only to experience it directly. My gift to you. I come to say that you cannot force or predict inspiration. The muse appears on her own terms, in her own timing. She enters your life as a pressure beaconing you into the unknown, calling you inwards and back to your origins. She is not always about fun and games. Sometimes she comes to dismantle your way of thinking and to shake up your entire grasp of reality and your ability to love. To welcome her into your life, you must practice immense patience and trust. Be willing to receive your inner secrets, truth and the mystery that is all around you. Even when you cannot feel her, know that she is working behind the scenes. Don't look for spirit outside of yourself. Be spirit. And now, some questions to deepen your contemplation. Might your certainty about philosophy, system or path be hiding a deeper fear of the unknown? Is it hard to relax when you can't find the answer to a big why? Try spending a period of time without working hard to understand. Have you given up on discovering who you truly are and where you come from? Are you afraid of digging too deep? Pick an unusual inquiry for yourself and go digging. 
And the last one. Have you ever experienced a breakdown, physical, emotional, mental or spiritual, that became an inspiring breakthrough? That's it. Much love and happy contemplating.